my beautiful boo babes welcome back to my channel um so today we are going to be doing a more detailed video on how i mix my paints for acrylic pourings and then i'm going to be showing you guys how to use a blow dryer with your acrylic pourings this is actually a updated video that was requested so i wanted to go ahead and put that out for you guys now um so uh if you don't know i've i've done at least one other video on this before but it has been a while since i explained my like mixing process in detail and i don't think much has changed um but i decided to film this anyways because like i said it was requested so i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up like comment share subscribe all the good stuff make sure to hit that bell for notifications on when i do post more videos normally on fridays but it was late this week um, and I think this will be up late Saturday. I apologize if it's not, even though I did say that on my Instagram. And that's simply because, um, I got busy with work and stuff. So I do apologize. I will try to post one Monday as well, um, to make it up to you guys. But, um, yeah, let's just, uh, get into the video. All right. So hopefully this is focusing. Um, my camera is doing something weird and I can't use my phone right now who's about dead um so oh, let me check hopefully this is good um but as i said in the intro we are going to be doing an updated mixing process um sorry for like my dirty scenery here but this is just like my tarp that i use for painting now so it has a ton of stuff on it um but we are going to be doing a ocean themed pour and it's going to be um on this wood piece that i got um think from AC Moore and it's actually like a surfboard and I thought this was so cool so we're going to be painting on here I don't even think it's in the frame hold on that's the surfboard and um so hopefully these jars are big enough for the amount of paint I believe it is but the things that I use for my mixing and I do want to stress I because everybody is different and um you never know. Like, some people use uh, silicone. Some people have tried glue. I don't know if that's, like, a main thing. Um, some people use uh, the Liquitex pouring medium, which I haven't tried out yet, and I do really want to. I just haven't gotten the chance to. Um, so stay tuned for a video on that. But my main thing is Floetrol. This is the pouring medium that I personally love and will continue to use. Um, but of course I would try other stuff. And then I just use water. I filled this up with tap water. It's nothing special. And I have paint. And I decided um, recently on my Instagram sh story I showed you guys that I got these new paints. And I figured I'd test them out to see how they do with um, pourings. I've already tried them with paintings as far as like brush and adding a ton of water. All the new paintings you guys have been seeing. These are the paints I've been using. Um... Not these specific colors, but this brand, along with Windsor's acrylic brand. But I thought it'd be fun to test them to see how they work in um, pourings, because these are heavy body acrylics. And to be honest, I don't see a huge difference in how they work um, differently than other acrylics. They are thicker, but that's pretty much it. They do give you, I guess, a thicker first layer. But um, other than that, I'm not really sure how it's different. Um, but I'll do an uh, entirely, like, other video on that. I've been planning on that, um, but I just kind of wanted to test them out first. Um, but let me stop talking. So what I normally do first, and I'm going to try to explain this as much as I can, but then again, it's not any really anything too complicated, so hopefully you guys get this, but I start off by putting my paint at the bottom um, of the pan first, and uh, depending on the type of paint, I would be careful with how much you use. Like, these I don't want to waste too much, especially. Sorry for cut off. I really need to do something about that camera. But as I was saying, we just put um, a little bit of paint in the bottom. Again, depending on the paint. If it was like a craft paint, I'd probably like dump a little more than that. But these paints are stronger in pigment, so you don't really have to worry about that. So I'm just going to add a few drops into each container. So next, depending on the thickness of the paint, I add the water. If it's craft paint, I normally don't add that much. Um, it just helps thin out the flow trial a little bit. But for these, I will add um, probably enough to just cover the bottom. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's just covering the bottom 
Um, I don't have exact measurements. I like to eye everything I do. Um, it's probably just a habit because I do that when I'm cooking too, but I'm just covering the bottom. And I can always add more depending on how I feel about it, but you honestly just have to practice and get a feel for the paint. So, again, if you want an exact measurement, put a few drops of paint in um, and then just cover the bottom with water depending on, you know, the size cup and everything, but that should work for most sizes. And I'm going to go in with a flow trowel, and you just pour as much as you want. Um, I'm going to fill these up because I know I'm going to use quite a bit of each color. And if you guys are new here, if this is your first video watching of mine, if you don't know, flow trowel is meant to expand your paint. It's a paint thinner, but it doesn't take away from the pigment on most colors. Sometimes I find with super dark colors, you have to add more paint than you normally would, um, just because it, it in the end it is a ton of white you're adding to it, um, so it does affect it in some way. But that's only with really dark colors, so sometimes I might have to add a little more in the Prussian and all that depending on what it is um, but after I do all that I don't mix the water in with the paint before I do the flow trawl because I find that it becomes clumpy so I wait until I add the flow trawl which I you guys just saw me do so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna mix them Okay guys, so I'm actually going to stop here. Normally this does not happen, so um, I guess it wasn't the best idea to start new paints when I'm trying to show you a um, um, mixing process, but these paints actually aren't popping up true to color, which I find very interesting, especially for the brand um, that I'm using. I would think that it wouldn't have this problem. Um, the Prussian Blue is probably the truest out of them all. Maybe this um, turquoise pathlo color. But these actually, the pigments are very, they're kind of off. And I'm not very happy with it, so I am going to adjust this. Um, so I actually wouldn't recommend oof, using these heavy body acrylics. Um, if you wanted to try it for pourings. I just wanted to see how it would work. I haven't looked anything up on it, so I'm sure I could have found some tips to it. Oh my gosh, I'm going to drop something. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend these for your first try. They're not too bad, but it's not like, it's kind of a little cloudy. Um, but I will go ahead and add some new colors and attempt to get the, the right colors I'm looking for. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Alright, so this is what I've come up with so far. These are actually very similar in color, um, so I'm going to darken this one, I think. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of orange to cloud it up a little bit. Um, and then I'll mix the white. The white shouldn't have a problem. <laughs> it is white. Um, but yeah, you kind of just have to play around and get the colors that you want. And adding more paint does not affect um, the amount of flow trawl and water I put in. You might want to add a little bit more water, but it's entirely up to you. So um, hopefully this made sense. So it's paint, water, flow trawl. And that's the order I do it in, but you can do it in any order. As you guys can see, I've been going in and adding more paint, um, which wasn't in the original order that I did it before, but it doesn't affect it that much. Alright, 
So, I like those colors together. Um, it has more of like a greenish tint. So, I'm going to set up this board and I'll get back to you guys. And today's also an update on how to use the blow dryer. This video is a request, again, like I said in the beginning. So, I'm trying to go into a little bit more detail about how to do that. Um, but hopefully this process was helpful. Again, I'll say it's paint, water, and Floetrol. That's how I mix it. Few drops of paint. Fill the bottom of the cup with enough water and then fill up the flow trawl to as much as you need. Um, and you might have to adjust the amounts to um, the size cup that you have. So if I had a cup, I can grab one that was this size, which is little, you're going to have to do a little less paint and water and flow trawl, but obviously, you know, it's as much as can fit in the cup. So. Again, it's just playing around, it's practicing and finding out what works, but I hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this was helpful to the um, people who asked for this video. So I'm going to move this aside and I'm going to set up the uh, little board, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's been a long day. Alright, so I have my board set up. Again, I apologize if the lighting is weird. I don't know if I already said this, but I usually film during the day and it's night because I've had a busy day. So hopefully um, you guys can see clear. I'll make sure to let you know if like the color's off. Um, but I did get a new editor, so I might be able to fix that when editing the video. Um, but we'll see because I haven't used it before. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just sit all my colors out. And I am doing, again, I'm doing an ocean painting, but I'm going to show you guys like the method to using a blow dryer, which again, comes from practice, comes from my own knowledge of trying it out. There really isn't like no set way to do this. It's a blow dryer, not really your typical painting tool, um, but I'll let you guys know. Warning though, I would cover up your floor a little more than you think need it because it does splat and it is very annoying sometimes because you don't expect it, but it still happens. Um, so I'd recommend covering up anything important um, that you might have around. Unless you're just like outside and you're good. So I'm going to start off with our lightest color that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to show you the method to doing this. But if you're painting like something else other than an ocean scene, you just you can put your paints down with, in whichever way you want. And I can tell that this is not fully straight because it's slanting. So after I put my paint down, I like to hold it over because if I hold it slanted, let me make sure you guys can see this. So I hold it down, and I explained this in my first video, um, which was um, not too long ago, uh, but it seems like it. But you don't hold it this way because it will splat in whichever direction you're holding it. So it will go that way, or the paint will splat that way. So I like to turn it on and hold it downward. And what this angle does, it spreads it out. If I want it to do this kind of side angle, um, it'll push it, the paint. So if I wanted to push it in any direction, I would do this, but I wouldn't go fully to the side. I kind of angle it in that direction because again, if I go fully to the side, it will push fully that way and it will splat. So I kind of like to angle it, which does sometimes cause splats, but you just have to be careful and you just have to be prepared. So again, if you turn it on, face it this way, or you can even turn it on away from the paint and then put it over when you're done. So I'm going to show you guys. Turn it on this way, and then you can push it. That's one way to do it. Or if I were to do it a little angled, So you guys can see how I could I was able to push it any direction. So one thing I do like about using a blow dryer is that you have more control of where your paint goes, which is great. So that's kind of like the basic to using this. One thing that I will say that is very, very important to avoid splatting is that, I don't know if you guys can tell, but when I'm at this angle, I am like all the way over here pushing it in that direction. I am a very good distance away height-wise and like length-wise. And same when I'm on this side, I'm over here pushing it that way. And you don't want it to be right here because it will splat 
and if you're too close it's just gonna it's gonna go all over the place so I'd recommend trying to keep it at a distance again if you're close to it it's gonna splat everywhere and you don't want that so I'd recommend keeping it at a distance and just pushing it and one thing I do to help is I shake it a little bit and it helps just kind of carry the paint so I'll show you guys again I'm gonna turn it on And that's basically the gist of everything. If you see it getting thinner, just add a little bit more paint and so on. So I'm just going to kind of paint this for you guys and you can watch to how I'm doing this. Again, there's no specific way. This is what I taught myself how to do and what I learned from watching people. And I kind of just picked up on the little tips and tricks when using the blow dryer. So what I'm going to do for this paint, and you guys, this method like I'm doing right now is similar to the one I did so I have two videos on this. The first one is kind of old. Not a huge fan of that, but you guys are. This is my most popular video. Um, and then I have another one that's an ocean themed again. And I think, I'm, I don't know if it was a speed paint. Um, but you can watch that and it's similar to what I'm doing now if you're curious about how to paint the ocean. But this is just my little version of it. And this is a lot of blue, so I'm probably going to push the white that way. Um, because I have like three other colors to add and it's taking over half of it. Honestly, I'm kind of liking this this way. It's kind of nice. I don't know. Hmm. This is like a kind of cool look. It looks like sand and the waves crashing. I almost want to leave it. Hmm. 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 Because in my mind, I had like three layers. What do you guys think? I need to push it this way so I can actually see it. Hmm. I don't know guys, I might actually leave it. And I might do another painting for you guys since I did not... This didn't go where I thought it was going to go. Maybe I'll do another one. I kind of like it. It's kind of nice like this. I'm just going to add some more blue though. <laughs> of course my mistakes happen on video. See that's what you guys don't do. Um, I don't have much support under here so I would recommend holding it or getting more support. That was very dumb of me, but I'm not even going to try to cut that out because things like that happen. It's a learning process, guys, so... That was very dumb on my part. So, my bad. Don't do what I did, guys. See, now you can learn from my mistakes instead of doing it yourself. This white is a little thinner though. I probably added too much water, but it still works. So I'm just gonna do that to fix it. It'll go up higher, but yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this one blue and I'm just gonna use the other paints for another painting.
paint just doesn't want to work with me. So I just realized that I put the wrong shade of blue in here, so I'm just going to do it all around. And I guess it kind of adds a little depth to it, but it was an accident, but happy accidents, right guys? It's funny, I'm trying to show you guys like something in detail and I just keep messing up in this video. Um, but yeah. guys so hopefully this was somewhat helpful I am going to do another one for you guys and I will attempt to explain it again if it was not helpful um, but I'm going to set this aside somewhere I'm a little ru I'm running out of a little space here um, hmm honestly my just I'm gonna get four cups this time because I've learned my lesson I'm gonna prop this up and I'm just going to try my best not to spill it onto this other painting. But I really don't have anywhere else to put it at the moment. Because the camera's also in the way, so... Oh well. Alright, so... I do have blue, but I'm going to attempt to do something a little different other than just an ocean thing because I just did one and I have I have done multiple ones in the past um, but I just want to show you guys that there there's so many different ways that you can use a blow dryer um, so yeah we're just gonna go in I'm gonna speed this part up but again you want to turn it on kind of facing downward face it somewhere else that's not on your canvas um, just so you're prepared for when you actually do want to put it over because that it can surprise you sometimes um, and I don't want you guys to mess up, so face it down like over your canvas, maybe to the side, over here. Um, and one tip, make sure this cord doesn't get in the way because I've had it fall on top of a painting before and ruin it and it's really sad, so make sure to watch that. But I think I'm going to go in in little puddles and just let it work. Alright, so this is what I come up with. Don't know what it is. There's no method to it. It was just random. You guys know how I work. And now I'm going to go in with the blow dryer. And I probably will do it um, at angles. Hopefully not splash it on this one painting right here. Um, but yeah. Nice, quick and easy, and I actually really like this. It's kind of cool, it's different. That's pretty cool. And one thing I like to do is take the paints on the side and just kind of cover it up. And I am going to take this, well, uh, I was going to say I was going to take it off the cups. I like to do that to help with the drying thing, but it's a little 
I might have to clean up around this, but I'm not going to do that on camera right now. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Um, I, I honestly did try to explain it the best I can. Um, but for me, sometimes it is hard to explain simply because I learned it on my own. So I can't just like give you directions that I really don't know how to give when I just, I kind of figured it out in the moment. But I did try my best, so hopefully this is helpful to the people who requested it. And um, I do want to say real quick, thank you guys for 100 subscribers. Um, it did not go unnoticed. Sorry if it's getting darker, I'm moving the, the lamp. But I do appreciate it, and I will be doing some sort of special soon. Um, I just have to decide on which idea. But until then, thank you guys for watching my video. Um, hopefully you guys like this. Again, hopefully it was helpful. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And also, make sure to hit the bell button so you guys get notifications for when I do post. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.